Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Beverly. I do things planner related. If you're new here, welcome to the hot mess. And if you're coming back, you already know. So today we're just gonna do a midweek check-in and I actually have my March set up. Um, <laughs> this is not what I thought it was gonna be. Um, if you've been watching my channels, I packed everything up and I was just using a small, um, let me see if I have it in front of me. Do I, do I, I do. So I was using this small, it, this was originally a week size a booklet from Sterling Inc. And I had a little, um, a little notebook that I made out of Stology paper that went with it. I had a pad of paper that went with it. Hold on. Mm. Okay, well, I can't find it. I was using it last night to go over my goals. So, um, I had a pad of paper that was just a really steno pad. It wasn't nothing big or like a, a one of these. <laughs> it was just blank. Uh, but, uh, you know, that I was using to kind of as a notebook and dailies and things like that and lists. I did my goals on them. Like, I, I used up the whole pad, ended up. Um of just lists and brain dumps and things I wanted to get done and blah, blah, blah. Oh, by the way, excuse me, my dog was playing and I got caught on her tooth. She didn't bite me. It's just, you know, pit bulls have their mouth open all the time <laughs> and I ran my finger up her canine and it really hurt. Anyway, um, tangent. So, um, I was just using this and it was okay. I was trying to find ways around how I planned, but it really didn't give me everything I need. So I knew for March, um, I was going to have to find a planner system. I ordered some stuff and I have not had time to really, um, look at it enough to know if it's going to work for me. I'm going to be honest, I'm leaning towards not, and I'm leaning towards using it for something else. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. I just don't know if it's for me. Um, even though it is a bound book system, um, I just, I can't, I don't know. There's a disconnect in my brain. I'll, I'll figure it out. But in the meantime, March is upon us and I have to do something because this is, I was doing the bare minimum, guys, like keeping plants, people, and pets alive. That was it because it just wasn't working for my brain. It was okay. Don't get me wrong. I dumped a lot of stuff. I, um, it was less like chaotic, but I really, I'm going to be honest too. My mental health is on an uptick. Um, uh, my meds weren't really great. I was sick on and off all winter between Jan uh, December, January, and February, and I'm starting to get better. My meds are more regulated. Um, and I'm starting to have a little less brain fog and things like that. So, um, my productivity is picked up and I really need a system that is productive this was not enough. It was good and it's, but it wasn't enough. And I am going to make me another blank booklet that I had that I'd made out of Stology paper. I'm going to make another one, um, put it in the back and I'm going to put this in my purse. So I'm still going to be using it to an extent. Um, it's just going to be updated whenever I need to. And then, um, I can carry it with me and make notes in the back in case I don't want to carry the planner system I'm going to use. Um, I have this as an alternative, um, and if I keep it up to date, if I ever have this situation come again, I can just grab this in my little booklet and <laughs> scale things down again. Um, so, that's that. Uh, so, I went through, I, I, if you watched my last videos, I packed up all my stuff and I moved it out for a couple of weeks to kind of get some clarity and figure out what I want um, and Honestly, it was not what I thought. I thought about this planner the whole time um, I was out of it. I thought about it every day. I told myself every day, just go get it. You know where it is. Go get it. And um, I just said, no, I need the break. I unfollowed all the flip throughs. I unfollowed a lot of people that used it. Um, I unfollowed the hashtags on Instagram. Like I was trying not to be planner fluenced, 
um, in this planner at all and tried to really nail down or narrow down what I really wanted in a system. And um, I thought about like the last time I felt productive, the last time things worked, um, the last time I felt like I was getting shit done. Um, and this planner kept coming back up and I was like, you know what, like, I'm just gonna go back. Now I'm doing it different and I have a different mindset around it. So I think that's going to be helpful. Um, but we will see, we will see. I didn't purchase anything for this planner. I had left it set up. It's not anything new in there. I did take a lot of stuff out. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. So, da -da -da -da. I went back to my ring planner. I'm telling you guys, I didn't expect this. I did not. I expected to go back to my B6 weeks. I had full intentions on it. And I thought, no, that's really, even though I kept thinking about this planner, kept thinking about it. Um, I said, no, no, you're not a rings planner. Just give up the ghost. But I kept thinking about this planner. And I'm telling y'all, I didn't watch flips. I unfriended people like it was a thing it was a real effort to not be planner fluenced and really figure out what I want and like try to talk myself into the fact that I'm not a brings planner I'm not this I'm not that I think what I talked myself into was that I wasn't a rings planner in the instant of what I see rings used as so, um, a lot of people stuff their stuff with trackers, they stuff their stuff with lists and things like that, like doctor's notes and gift lists and things like that, like stuff I just don't need, but I thought had to be in a rings planner. And I thought, well, if I'm not using that stuff, do I really need to be in a rings planner? Um, so I went through and cleaned a bunch of crap out. Um, I put my word of a year back. This is just stuff I already had. Um, I did buy some sterling ink stuff. I ain't gonna lie. I just, I can't, I cannot tell a lie. I did buy some sterling ink stuff, so I have her freebies here. Um, those are the new ones. Um, uh, so I got some stuff out. This was a, this is a Moterm uh, uh, fake Ollie Clip or Ollie Clip like thing that I've had since. I bought my first Moterm. That was a B6 back in the OG Crocs when they first came out. Crazy. But anyway, um, I have my fly, uh, my like my little cover thing in the front that's holding my pen because I have no fly leaf in here. This is a B6 Chic Sparrow that I've had for years. You can see where it's like rubbed up against stuff in my purse. Here is a uh, bald for me picking it up and I think it's rubbed against some stuff. Um, it's got marker, pin, all over it, scratches. This is one of the undyed or untreated leathers that she had that's super scratchy um, and it just went everywhere with me. I had a B6stology in here and I used it for work so it went back and forth to work with me during 2020. So uh, that tells you um, it, was, it was rough, rough. Um, but anyways, I stuck rings in here. These are 25 millimeter rings from, I don't know, someplace on AliExpress that I bought rings from when I ordered the Moterm that I didn't keep. Um, this was the charm that I made from Hobby Lobby. Same fly leaf. My word of the year just made it on Canva. I had put in a tracker for my AL and my sick leave that we have separate. Um, so I want to keep track of that and kind of keep a running tally to see if, is it really worth calling in today or can I drag myself to my computer and just work sick? Like I need to really get a hold of that because I've been sick. So actually, actually really, really sick so much, um, physically sick, not just mentally sick. Um, it's not mental days. Um, that I really need to keep track of that. An overview from Plan With B. My holidays, these are my work holidays. So I had all this really set up. Picture of my granddaughters, my Noah Khan patch. Um, this is my inbox, so my master to-do list. 
I can put my here, here. I put an extra one over here if I wanted to make some notes or something or like reference stuff. Um, some notes for my doctor. I did put my adulting list back in here and my workout tracker. And the back is a no buy tracker, but we just um we just gonna ignore that because this was not this is anything but a no buy for January and February. It was an all the buy. So we're just done with that. Uh, my adulting tracker, and then these are my little page flags that I use for my adulting list. Um, I still need to make a few. Um, I need to go through here, and there's still a couple I'm missing. But I put these on my dailies when I need to do these so that I can, I don't have to write them over and over. My med tracker, so I keep track of that. This is my stuff to do that I need to get done and when I need to get do it. So like an ideal task tracker kind of thing. Uh, my AM, noon, and PM routine that I etched out at the beginning of the year. I'm still working on that. To watch, this was cut down. I was going to, pay. I pasted it in my um, weeks, and I just taped it back. I didn't bother to do another one. This is just a freebie today, and I, that's what it's pasted on, is a, a today freebie from Peanuts Planner Co. from her Facebook group. Um, I plan it, I just taped it to another one. And um, if I get to around to copying over, if, like if I have time, I'll do it. But if not, it's just going to sit there. This is going to be a book list. Um, and I made a little fly, a little thing for it because I'm a smut reader. Um, all my smut people out there, you have found your person. Send me book recs in the bottom. Like, it's my thing. But um, planner measurements of different inserts and planners. This is a planning routine I still haven't done because I don't know what I'm doing. This is an add to planner setup from the planner room that I had. Um, these are still the Plan With B Wildflower. Um, they were A6. I blew them up to personal so they didn't turn out great. I didn't do it like in Canva or anything like I should have to that like the exact measurements I just kind of blew them up cut them out so they didn't cut normal but they're fine for me um this is my no my non-scale victory page I put it on the back of one of these because I thought it was pretty and then my weight tracker um and my measurements I kept that this is my mental health tracker so I'm really going to get down in March and really keep track of this. This is a Peanuts Planner Co. freebie and I just put um, Plan With B Wildflower dashboard on the back just to make it pretty. This is going to be March and I'm going to see how it goes. Um, this is from Crystal Plans that I collabed with. Whoops, I did it again. Um, her mental health uh, scale there. And then I put this on here. This is this is something that I made um, to questions for myself of why my he mental health the way it is. You know, are you clean? Are you fed? Are you hydrated? Are you rested? Have you connected um, with my family, my husband, things like that? Have you moved your body? Have you been outside? Have you talked to a friend? So somebody outside of my family that I don't see every day. Have you done something fun that doesn't involve TV or scrolling? And then have you been out of the house? Like, I work from home, so it's really hard. That wasn't a doctor's appointment. <laughs> so, have you been out of the house? That wasn't a doctor's appointment. So, um, my husband is very good at dragging me out of the house at least once a week. Um, it makes me go to, like, dinner or town or something. But I, I have a real habit of not... Um, doing that. I punch this on the wrong side because I like it to face so fold out so I can reference it. So I just stuck some simply gilded washi tape on top of the punches and repunched the other side because I didn't want to redo it. More note pages. This is a packing guide and just a checklist for my fanny pack when I go anywhere. Task reminders, address change reminder that I, I these I'd already I'd already had in here. I don't use them a whole lot, but I kept them just as trigger lists. This is my money section. So this is a hot mess right now. Um, I'm just trying to uh, catch stuff up from being in different planners. I have different sizes. They're all paper clipped in here so I can go through them, make sure my transactions were done, that kind of thing. Bills were paid because I've been plot hopping from place to place. Um, these are my months that I bought on Amazon for like seven bucks. Best thing I ever did. Um, I didn't have to print them and they come with little tabs. And then um, I caught them all up and we're into March starting tomorrow. So 
I cut up my uh, monthlies. So I put appointments on my monthlies, holidays, birthdays, things like that. And then as I go, I go back and put main events. So like when I was on antibiotics, when we went to the farmer's market, when we, you know, like Fat Tuesday, went out to eat at Olive Garden with my husband. Like, so it's kind of a little memory keeper, kind of an appointment keeper. So it starts out as appointments and holidays, things like that. And then as it goes, I go back and plan like big events or things we did, blah, blah, blah. Um, <clears throat> a little micro journaling, I guess, what you want to call it. I got March filled out. I'm in here till June, um, and I'll keep filling those out as we go. All my gratitude is caught up in one place. Uh, I have March set up for my gratitude. These are playing with these snapshots. I already had these. I've got to go back and back fill them, but I've got to future fill first. <laughs> Um, because this is as far as I got with planning. Um, and so I want to um, like update all these and I didn't get a chance to do that yet. Um, and I have until June, July, yeah, July, the first of July in here. So the first six months of calendars and weeklies are in here. Um, just pictures that I still had in here, some sticky notes that I just have paper clipped in here. These are my weekly trackers, my to-do lists. I miss these so bad. <laughs> So my weekly tracker is here, my cleaning, I, which I was, wasn't even going to use because I, last time I used this, I said, do I really need it? I don't think I really need it. I need it because I didn't get it done. Unless I write it down, not happening. I have to see it in front of me to be pressured to do it because if it's just in my phone, it's out of sight, out of mind. I don't, eh, I don't care if I do it. I can just, me, eh, me, eh, turn off the reminder. But if it's in front of me and filled out, then I have pressure to do it. So, and I have several weeks of those um, and some weekly task trackers um, from um, Peanuts Planner Co. I'm still working on this. These are my dailies. Um, I took some out because I had printed some, but I didn't like them. I went back to Gestology paper. Um, this was back. So I had some dailies from when I was in here last, but, and I tried using those, but I didn't like them. So I went back to Gestology paper, just uh two pages per day i've got to cut some more because i don't have enough for march in here and these rings are just not big enough i don't think um or maybe i need to maybe i just need to use it as a guide and say hey if they're too if they don't turn well you know get rid of some shit so um this is just a6 from my a6 planner the astrology paper that i had maybe i'll move these up and use those uh, maybe it won't bother me but it probably will so whatever um stuff I already had in here and so these I mean these are just extra lists in case I need them I could probably take some of these bread pages out but I left them in here because as I'm resetting this up if I find something that I really need to like make a list for I have them um if they, it looks like I'm not going to use them I'll take them out these are my meal planning section I left my grocery lists in here because these were really I, I didn't think I needed them but I kind of missed them I did um, to make a grocery, uh, list and things like that. And these are good for other than grocery lists. I'm going to, I'm not going to lie. Um, I just mark these out. I repurpose a lot of this stuff for different things like the today's I make into lists and things like that. The daily pages from her, I'll just mark this out, put a little washi tape over it. And then I have a two column list that I can use. Like I'll use these as a list in the front. So it doesn't bother me. And this is my goal section. Um, I had this. I cut it down to put in my weeks. And um, I just repunched it because it didn't really bother it too much. It's a little smaller, but it doesn't bother me. I'd cut it down um, to not have the punches where it had punched originally. But it didn't bother the words enough to... So I just repunched it put it back in here. And these are going to be my goal sheets. I'm not going to have this many in here, but I left some extra that I had in case I mess one up and I can redo it. And then these are, these are some to-do lists. This is the same thing that my mental health questions are on. These I got from Office Depot. Um, they are a post-it brand um, called Noted. They're super sticky. They're called super sticky um, post-its with those on it. Hold on. Let me see if I can find them. Um, I got those. And then I got these little ones. 
These come in a pack too, so they have a little habit tracker, a little mood tracker, a little water tracker, and then um, in this order tracker. So these four come in a pack, but I mean in this order you can, like these are your top three um, to do. Um, so you can use them. They're, they're the super sticky um, post-it brand. And um, I thought they were cute, so I got them. They also had a weekly habit tracker that I don't see. Um, I don't see them. What did I do with them? But anyways, they're kind of like the weekly tracker from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, on my weeks. Um, nope, they're on the task list. So they're kind of like these. They have the Monday through Sunday and the task, but they're long and they're yellow. So um, I bought a post-it of those. I can't seem to find them, but they also had those available. They come in a little um, bundle and they're a pretty thick regular post-it note amount. And um, I uh, bought those too just to have, like, if I didn't feel like printing these, I could use those up before I had to print more sticky notes because um, printing isn't my favorite thing. I did tell myself I'm not going to print a bunch. I'm just going to order the shit and be done with it because I didn't want to have to deal with it. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, but that was it and some extra post-it uh, page flags and some extra posts that stuck down in here. So this is going to be for March. I hope this sticks. I'm I'm actually really excited. This is the first time I've been excited. Been excited um, to have a planner. Um, this is rings and strings. Um, I like that it's thin. Like it squishes down. I like that it's thin. It's not very, it's not very stuffed. Um, the thin um, planner cover really works. So put your planner cover suggestions down. Um, I don't really need a big back pocket. I've discovered that about myself. I don't even stick any shit in there. And then um, uh, I would like something kind of light. I was looking at Filofax. Uh, they have some, and I, I've had a Malden in the past. They were really light. Um, and I was thinking about getting that one. And if that works out, that's fine. Um, but put your put your suggestions down below. Um, and we'll see what happens, but this is really, I feel like I'm productive again. I can make lists. I can organize the lists. I can, oh, everything's out of my brain. I can write everything down on my, on my weeklies. Like, I don't know why I had such a brain block last time, but this time going into it, like, I'm like, oh, I know exactly how I'm going to use it. Maybe I just needed the comfort level or something. I'm not sure, but, um, so that's going to be March and my weekly update of what I'm going into using. Um, I really did not expect this. I expected to go back to a bound book because I was so like, I miss a bound book, but I think what I ordered, um, is going to fill that void for me and I'm going to use it in a different way. I just don't think I can use it every day. I'm not saying never, and it's set up for not never, like I could use it as a daily everyday carry. That would be fine. Um, but I don't think so. I just, I don't know. It's just not my thing. But even though I thought it would be, I talked myself into being like all the things. But, um, and I didn't get it in time to really try it out to set it up for March. Um, so I'm going to try it for a little while. If I end up going into it after March, like I'm making my April everyday carry, that's fine. Um, but I didn't get it enough to really set it up and be comfortable with it to go into March. And I needed something. I had to have something. Um, because that little thing just was not working anymore. I had outgrown the pad, the little notepad, like it was enough. So um, this would be March. And like I said, put your planner cover suggestions down below. I, I'm actually enjoying this in rings and strings. It gives me that uh, traveler notebook feel kind of. So if you have any other questions, you have any suggestions for my rings, let me know. Um, if you know of 30 millimeter gold rings, put it down below. Um, I, I want the gold. Um, I prefer the gold. I will go back to silver if I need to. Um, I think I'm going to take some stuff out and kind of make it where it's not as thick, but 
Um, I'm really looking for 30 millimeter gold rings in the planner if you have suggestions. And if you can find that, please let me know. All right. So what are y'all doing for March? Let me know. And until next time, guys. Bye.